Transurfer and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Transurfing TV. And today I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm going to be talking about internal answers. I'm going to tell you what happened to me this week. A few of you probably know from my video that I posted on Facebook. I connected with some internal answers and I saved myself about $5,000 in doing so. It's kind of like a Geico commercial, right? Like I, <laughs> I connected with the internal answers. I activated my inner observer and saved. <laughs> so, um, yes, this, this video is going to be on connecting with the information and knowledge that you need to develop yourself and start creating that, that layer of reality, that optimal layer of reality for you via yourself right? To stop that outward search for more information, more knowledge, more answers, more solutions. Because when you, when you constantly just put yourself in a place that all of it's going to come to you externally, and it's just about you gathering it, then this is you kind of just like passing, you know, you kicking the can down the road, you passing the buck, right? This is you not, this is you not just saying, okay, I'm going to start doing right now with what I have, because what I have is enough and what I need will come to me in the future at the right time. And for now, I'm just going to start taking action in the direction of that higher track, that higher version of myself with what I have. And I'm not going to think, well, if I just get a little bit more knowledge, or if I just reach out to Renee and ask her about plate activation one more time, <laughs> then I'll get it, right? Then I'll get it and it'll work. And then I'll be able to create my own reality start creating creating your own reality now so um as i go into this you're gonna see a little bit of a you're gonna you're gonna see a little bit of my um my conundrum with even giving this video because obviously we're coming to reality transferring you're coming to these videos to seek out knowledge right and here i am sort of speaking out um against the exact thing that i'm doing <laughs> So there's a little bit of um, like, wait a second, you're doing that, Renee. Yes, I am doing that. But I think transurfing gets a little bit of a free pass because the whole of transurfing is about you taking accountability for the version of reality that you're living and realizing that you, if you're not living the version of reality that you deem ideal, that that is going, you, that you're the problem, right? And you're the solution. So you're the problem, you're the solution. You're the reason that that layer of reality hasn't materialized, but you can also make that layer of reality materialize via you transurfing, right? So before I get into it more, remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. Um, join us on Facebook, link below, and Reality 2.0 on Teachable down below. Now I know this is again, this is like, well, aren't you saying that the answers are within? And yes, here's my sort of, um, my sort of take on things like my course as opposed to you learning to do this stuff for yourself. I'm super proud of my course. I love my course. It took me five years to develop. And I feel that with, with the transurfing knowledge and my own life experiences, I created a pretty awesome compilation of solutions for commonly experienced problems, right? So I feel very strongly in, in my course. However, I really, think that people create their own layer of realities via their ability to first and foremost tap into internal answers. Now, when you tap into your internal answers and you understand the voice, right? The voice of your inner observer, the voice of your higher self, and you're able to move on that stuff on your own, that's when a course like Reality Transurfing or a new modality, that's when that's going to help you, right? If you, if you are just looking for others to help you create or something external to help you create your own reality, that, that accountability and that, that wherewithal and that grit, all that stuff needs to be developed first 
in order for you to truly benefit from something external. And I know kind of what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? But your ability to really just be like, okay, I can create my own reality right now with what I have, I can start now and everything that is missing is going to come to me in the right time I trust that I will attract it, right? But not being, and I've seen a lot of people come to me that are in a constant state of if I ask enough questions, if I, if I, if I, if I pay it for enough coaching, if I, and this is really why I don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I realize the people coming to me for one-on-one -on -one coaching were simply wanting me to create their reality for them. Right. And when I was, uh, you know, I'm new, I'm new to the self-development world. Reality transurfing was the first thing I found when I uh, decided that I really needed to develop myself and get, get, get in there and start doing stuff before that I was a conventional therapy person and I remember being in the therapist's office or being just living my life and being like wait a second why are things getting better why do I still have all this conflict why am I still unsatisfied I'm paying this lady I'm paying this lady a lot of money and my life is still crappy right I mean isn't aren't I paying her to make life better for myself and really this is again you're never going to gain fulfillment and true self-development from external sources you can if you can first and foremost tap into your internal answers first and um, move on that that voice that knows the direction for you specifically, for who you are as an individual, right? So a few of the points that I would like to make is first remember your mirror. If you are in a constant state of searching for answers and solutions and feel that the way, the way is outside of you or the knowledge is outside of you, then your mirror is going to respond back to you with this kind of confused approach, right? So if you're in a constant state, state of searching and I don't have it, and um, you know, I don't have the ability to create my own reality, your world is going to provide you with all the stuff you need to prove that theory about yourself true, right? Now, if you say to yourself, I am the answer, I am the way, all the stuff, all the knowledge is inside of me, I just have to learn to listen and connect with it and move on it, moving on it is key, then, then your world's going, you're, you're going to attract all the stuff that you need. You're going to feel the essence of this version of you. And then again, your world's going to agree with you, putting back in your direction more of the same, right? You are the way, you are the answer, you do have it in you. So... One, the pendulum's rule, do as I do. Um, the reason that I put this as number one here is because I think that it is like common culture that the pendulums want to convince you, and I talked a lot about this in um, my video, The Big Lie, that the pendulums want to convince you that there's something wrong with you and you need to pay for um, services or things to help you and you need to, you know, do things like therapy or, or medication or, you know, something that you need to buy or buy into to resolve your, your, your inner challenges or conflict, right? So the pendulum has us convinced that it's, it's external, that all of our answers and solutions are external. But again, transurfing wants us to connect with, with the opposite of that, that it's, it's, it's internal, right? Two, um, connecting with your inner observer, this is going to be the most profound way for you to connect with the knowledge that you need to, um, to evolve, to self-develop. This is you, this is you turning on a part of yourself or tuning into a part of yourself that can recognize when an answer does present itself to you internally and then your inner observer's like, this is the way, right? You don't need to continue to search externally. This is the way, this is what you need to do. So my quick um, little story of what happened to me, I was getting ready to sign up 
for this business strategy course that was upwards of $5,000 and I was convinced that this thing was going to help me take my business to the next level. And then I started the Quantum Bootcamp Challenge and I got really, I got really into listening to that inner observer, listening to my, to, to the stuff that was surfacing from me creating kind of a more quiet environment where I could hear some of these things. And I realized, wait you know exactly what you need to do. You don't need to take this course. You know exactly what you need to do. You know that you need to do A, B, C, and D, and you've simply been putting it off. And instead of just going at A, B, C, and D and stop putting it off and just going, going for it, you think that employing this business strategist is going to help you resolve what you know you need to do. Right. So it's again me. It's me kicking the can down the road by employing the business strategist where I very much know exactly what it is that I need to do. I just needed to connect with that internal answer. Right. And stop doing that thing where I'm looking externally to have someone resolve or something resolve these issues or imbalances or challenges for me because again, I could take the business strategist course or mastermind, whatever it is, and at the, at the end of the day, I still need to do A, B, C, and D. Nothing's going to, nothing's going to dissolve that. I still need to take the action. So me connecting with that answer saved me a lot of money because I did know what to do. I didn't need somebody to tell me what to do, right? So self-help books, self-help from others, or the constant search for truth is not the answer. I have a video on why the self-help movement sucks, you know, and, and I'll just call it for what it is. It kind of sucks because people feel they read a book, right? They get a book and they're like, okay, this book is going to have all the answers. And they read the book and they feel like, you know, they got a handle on it and then... And then the book just kind of fades into the background. So then they find another book and then they read that one. They're like, okay, this is it. This is definitely it. This is going to help me. They read this book and then, and then that book kind of just fades into the background. And it keeps people on this hamster wheel of one, purchasing self-help books and feeling as though there's, there's a missing key there. There's a missing key there, and I just have to find that missing key. The missing key is you. The missing key is your internal answers. The missing key is you quiet, getting yourself to a quieter place where you can hear those internal answers, and then your inner observer can tell you, hey, there it is, and then moving on that stuff rather than just stuffing it down. So this is why I presented to everyone the quantum boot camp. This is exactly what this is about. Tuning out of the media, tuning out of social media, um, except for maybe some stuff that you feel is going to keep you inspired on a daily basis, but nothing toxic, nothing negative, no, no noise, you know, of, of pendulums telling you stuff, all that stuff, just quiet it all down. And for 30 consecutive days, take anomalous action one step outside of your comfort zone each day and set some intentions, right? Do some and check out that video. I will put the link in the comments to the quantum boot camp. But really what it boils down to is you getting in touch with some answers, some things that you kind of already know inherently and you can connect with just by lowering the volume of your external environment and taking action in a direction towards your intentions that's maybe a little bit outside of your comfort zone and in this you get energy circulating you get more information and knowledge and answers sort of within kind of occurring and then you obtain the ability to actually hear it because the pendulum's volume isn't amped all the way up to the point where you can't even hear your own voice inside, right? So what are you trying to tell you right now? What is an answer or a solution or some knowledge that you can start to listen 
to internally that's already, you know, that's already there and start acting in the direction of that solution, answer or knowledge that is going to help you improve your, your layer of reality, your self-development, all that good stuff, but you doing it on your own, right? You doing that on your own, you becoming your own therapist, you becoming your own self-help book. It is pretty awesome when you're actively transurfing and you realize the answers are internal, the answers are within, right? So comment below, like this video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.